Hi everybody, um, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Erilyn. My voice normally does not sound like this, but I am recovering from being sick. I had a cold all last week and I had a really bad cough, which has made me lose my voice. I'm slowly regaining it, but I am bringing back my read with me videos. And to start off the videos, I am bringing it back with The Raven Boys and the sequel in the series The Dream Thieves. It's still in my bookshelf. I am going to be annotating. So I have a notebook to explain some things and I'm specifically going to be annotating my read with me videos um, because it'll allow me to talk to you guys more about the book. So I'll be reading two books in this video. Um, obviously starting with the first in the series. If you go and check out my Instagram, Erilyn the Writer, I have a post of all the books that I am hoping to read this year and you can see all the ones that I haven't read yet because I put them in the order that I'm reading them. Um, so anything that is after the Dream Thieves, yes, the Dream Thieves. If there are any books that you specifically would want me to read for one of these videos, definitely comment that down below. Um, I do have a plan for a few of them though, so just keep that in mind. But yes, I'm very excited to start reading. I've been, I've read a book every single week since um, I finished school and I've read three books so far this month and I'm very proud of myself um, for being able to do that. But yes, I'm now very excited to read this. So stay tuned for all my information and just remember that everybody has different opinions on books. So if I don't like this and it's like your favorite series, please don't attack me. But I'm assuming I'm gonna like it because I've heard a lot of good things. I don't remember what those things are, but I've heard it's good. Okay, let's talk about the first chapter of this book while I make it shy. So, so I read the prologue and chapter one last night. I've tabbed some things and put in some what are they called? Like my, my big stickies. I have a few thoughts. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it for the first chapter. I'm, I'm liking it. I have a few puzzling questions and some theories. First off, why all of a sudden does her aunt just show up and it's like, you're gonna find her true love today? Like is the only reason she showed up and like came to her house? is like, I need to gather my thoughts. I, I wrote a note, I wrote a note in here. Um, like I understand her family's clairvoyant, but like why this aunt Neve that she's, that Blue has never met, why is she just showing up here being like, yeah, you're gonna meet your true love this year. Like, is that the only reason she came? is to just tell her that she's gonna meet her true. Like, why is she here? Like, I feel like there's some ulterior motive to this lady, you know? My other thing. So I've, I've tabbed some like character development things. So like key character information. So like, since I have a theory, since Blue can like basically enhance people's clairvoyance, the, Calm down. The Raven Boys probably have some type of clairvoyance. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. It just would make sense. So, would she enhance their like power? I could be really far off. Gancy? Is that how you say his name? Gancy? Jancy? Gancy? Anyway, he's probably her true love. And if he's not, because Blue doesn't seem like the type of person. That's my other thing. Like the main line being like, either he's her true love or you killed him. If he's her true love, she killed him. So either way, she probably killed him. But like, she doesn't seem like the type of person who would outwardly like be like, yeah, I'm gonna kill someone because I know that if I kill them, I, if I kiss them, they're gonna die. And if I kill them, why would I kill them? Like, why would she just kill this random guy in the rain? Anyway, um, it just doesn't make sense. And I don't know. And like in 2012, when this book came out, I fully understand that that line would mean so much and it would have so much drama and tension. 
But currently, in 2023, I'm a bit confused because either way, she killed him. Like, it, and is that the point? That, to say, like, she killed him? Because she, if she's meeting her two lovers here and it's this guy. Am I also saying his name? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna read and write some more stuff in this book. I've done a lot of reading yesterday. I haven't read anything today, but let's do a little update of where we're at, what we're feeling. So I also got my little like memo stickers. They're very much smaller than I thought, but I'm using the gray ones for quotes that I highlight. So I have read this much. What is my cat meowing? You good? What are you squeaking at? Is the hummingbird back? Or is it a bee? There's a lot of bees in the front tree. Last I updated, I was at chapter one. I'm now gotten to chapter 16. I haven't read chapter 16 yet, but let's go back and flip through some of my notes. I tabbed a thing about the way I think Ronan Where's his outfit? And then I tabbed... Oh my god, my cat's gonna attack me. Uh, <laughs> I see you. I see you. Chester... Ow! <laughs> anyway, so I think Welk is probably gonna be the villain because he's greedy and he wants to find this treasure because of him and his friend that, like, died. I also have a theory that that's what's gonna be... gonna kill Gancy and not like a kiss or blue or anything. But since blue is there and like closely associated, that's probably why she could see him. That's what I think like this little like twist is gonna be. Oh my goodness, Chester. <sighs> but a key like detail is that possibly Sir Cersei's, I'm calling it Cersei, um, death wasn't for nothing after all. If I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong, I am deeply sorry. Yes, I quoted, um, the Raven's name being Chainsaw and that Ronan got Chainsaw from his head because, you know, the next book's called The Dream Thieves and I'm pretty sure that's Ronan on the cover. So... Did he actually get Chainsaw from his head? Noah? That's... That's why Noah was probably puking. Oh my god. I am on page 341 and Rowan is beating the crap out of Adam's father. And I'm trying to tab it, not tab it, uh, highlight it with my little highlight stickers because I need to commemorate the moment that Rowan does a little slappy slap because it is perfect. I tried to go to chapters today to buy the third and fourth book. They only had the fourth book, so I didn't buy it. Why is it so unfocused? I am on the last chapter, so let us um, read. Yes.
What does that mean? What the heck does that mean? So, like, Noah's back alive, and Ronan's just like, yeah, just so you know, I took this man out of my dreams. I don't know how I did it, though. Look at all my tabs. This lighting is terrible. That doesn't work anymore. Okay, this is kind of better. Wow, lighting in my room at night sucks. Honestly. Anyway, look at all my tabs. Holy cow. Well, I'm gonna start the second book tomorrow. But. Wow. Just realized that I have just realized a mistake <laughs> that I have made. I have been calling Rowan, Rowan, this whole time. His name's Ronan, Ronan. There's another N. <laughs> I'm sorry for the pain that I've put people through this video so far of me calling him Ronan. It's, no, Rowan, Ronan, Ronan. Okay, so I have read to chapter three and I have tabbed a few things. I have a tab for almost every single person, but I haven't tabbed a single thing for Gansey yet. There wasn't something that seemed like it needed to be tabbed. There was like no foreshadowing that I could sense. There's nothing. But who the heckity heck is the gray man? Like, obviously he's the villain for this book. Like, clearly. And like, but he said he wanted Grey Warren, which isn't that what the trees in the first book called Ronin? So like, also the like prologue when it was like the, the car or whatever and he got the keys, that to me really seemed like it was the car that was in Cab's Water, Grab's Water, Cab, Cab. Yeah, um, Adam's acting a little suspicious, a little cranky, being a little cranky guy, you know, but yes, I don't know how much more I'm going to read today, but I'll definitely be reading more tomorrow, obviously. I got two books, obviously, it's the two Raven Boy books, so I decided to add them to this vlog, you, there's stuff on that one, so let us open Oh. Ooh. Fancy. Eww. Ooh. Includes Opal, an exclusive Raven Cycle story. I have gotten to chapter seven in the Dream Thieves. So, you know, I've tabbed a lot. And while we're here, let's talk about it. And the fact that they think Grey Warren is an object that can take things out of dreams is interesting because obviously like Ronin's not an object so I think that was interesting um I tabbed Ronin with like the father and whatnot um I tabbed that Ronin sometimes dreams of Adam because I won't lie I got a bit of a spoiler looking on fan art on Pinterest so you know just Highlighting all that foreshadowing, you know? I'm not gonna say anything, but like. Should I just turn this whole video into reading like the whole series? Yeah, I think I'm, oh no, I don't know. I don't know. Do I? So yeah, I'm going to um, read now. I've decided I'm gonna read the whole series in this video, so <laughs> surprise. Um, I mean, like, not really surprise because I probably put it in the title, you know? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna read. I'm gonna try and finish this whole series within this week so I can still keep on my summer reading plan. Ronan just threw Noah out the window. <laughs> what the heck? Just. The whole scene with no one blue and their kiss and I I have tapped <laughs> so much. Like just look at this page. <laughs> and then 
So, the gray man killed Ronan's father. Okay, let's talk about this book. I look at all these tabs compared to the first book. Okay, it's decently, but like, no, that that's so much more because I did a tab for like the characters, you know. So this whole one was just like overcoming your fears within yourself, right? Like each character seemed to have something that they needed to like get through. Like they each had a secret, right? Luz obviously was confessing to Adam that she couldn't kiss him, but <clears throat> wow. I'm glad that the mom, Ronan's mom, is back. That ending, jaw dropped. Kind of sad that the gray man's back, but Mara, <sighs> but I have a theory. So, because they went up to the attic, right? No, Mara's bedroom. But, okay, since Mara was looking for Blue's dad, and this cave appeared, first off, cave obviously leads to underground, right? Um, maybe that's where Neve disappeared to? I don't know. Um, anyway, Glendower is underground, so am I. So obviously the next book is gonna be trying to find Mara, obviously. Um, makes sense why it's blue lily, lily blue. Secondly, if Glendower's underground and she was actually just looking for Artemis because Grey Man dipped and then came back, you know, you know, you know? Let's talk about this book so far. So I've gotten to chapter 17. I have made a decent chunk of tabs. I don't really like these ones because they're curved, but the Mr. Cat. Okay, so let's talk about it. There has been lots of sad moments in this book. Like, there have been many moments where I'm like, that is heartbreaking to read. Um, Blue being, like, how could she do this to me now about her mom leaving right before graduation, but her mom, like, didn't expect to be gone that long. Um, the... Noah using her energy because he's sad boy. Um, like Noah and Gancy having a conversation at the end of chapter 16. It, oh, I've written so, dude. Okay, let's talk about this book. So, definitely not my favorite out of all the books, I will say that, but it could also be because I read it basically within one day and I just consumed it. But I will say, I didn't understand the purpose for Green Mantle really being there, because we didn't ever really see him teaching, doing any of his teacher stuff, so it didn't really feel like it had as much of a taunting impact as it seemed in the very first time we were introduced to his character. I know it was mainly to introduce Piper for the ending, so we could kind of 
set her up as being like a main antagonist type thing along with Neve. Um, that thing at the end seems like a spider. Like just the way it was described, I'm like that was a spider. Also, Adam thinking he was the third sleeper. No, you were just there to replace Persephone because she talked about being like, I thought you were gonna replace one of us. And then, you know, he's going to, right? Um, I do like the explanation of Blue's magic. It definitely, just this whole book was definitely t uh, to get from book two to get it to book four, I feel, because Mara disappearing had impact on Blue because she was just kind of angry throughout this whole book, just being like, why the heck did you leave? Like, what the heck? Why didn't you tell us any of this? So, yeah. I really still liked it though, it was really good, I still gave it five stars. But I I don't know if this book was necessary to the overall plot. Like all of this could have, like all of these information and emotions. I also could have sworn that Mallory was gonna betray them. I don't know why, he just seems suspicious, but from fan art, I know that Henry gets a little more introduced, which I'm kind of nervous about because don't infiltrate the crew like that, man. Um, I've also gotten my mom to start reading the first book. But yeah. I also think I just don't like the tabs of this one because they're rounded at the edges, so it just looks strange in comparison with this one where like these ones, it just is nicer to look at. I guess you can see all the colors, but this one is just... Okay, there's not really much of a difference. I don't know what I'm saying. I knew it! I knew that he was gonna take her out of the train! But I didn't expect it to be an accident! Having your face, do Little tabby tabby. Little tabby 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 tabby. Little tabby tabby tabby. Yeah, but what do they do now? Cause like, they just have this child. It does seem like a bit of a predicament on their end. But you know what? Maybe it'll be okay. So I cannot believe that Ronan dreamt Cab's water into just existence, basically. Um, and secondly, why the number 621? My only thought is because six is made up of two threes and then two plus one is three, so then there's three threes, and like three is like a common reoccurring number throughout the books. And it can't be a date, because then it would be um, June, June 21st, and that's after April, so it wouldn't be like the date of Gansey's death or anything like that, right? So. Hmm. Also, the amount of romance tabs within the span of just a page, <laughs> like, wow. Well, well, you can't really see him. Oh. <laughs> but yes, I'm reading. I am getting through it okay I don't know why my sleeves like that anyway um I am almost done the book I cuz there's like that short story that's a decent amount of pages but I'm on chapter 35 Ronan and Adam kissed like they kissed and Gancy confirmed him and Blue's relationship. I think I tabbed something that I thought funny. Yeah, um, Blue took Gancy's hand. Gross, Adam said. Thanks for your input, Ronan. <laughs> but I'm going to read this because I can definitely finish it today. And then this video will be over. And so will the series. <laughs> I'm deeply saddened by this fact. So is like Gancy just Glendower somehow? Does Glendower even exist? I mean, he'd have to because his daughter exists, but like. I'm on chapter 52. 
Um, still got a ways to go, but it's okay. Cause, yeah, yeah, I got, I got three hours left to finish this book. And why three hours specifically is because I'm hanging out with my boyfriend tonight. I am crying. It's very, you can kind of tell. I, I started crying when Adam said that he missed Persephone and I didn't expect that to be me. Why am I crying? <laughs> I am on to the next chapter, but I am not okay. finished it. I still have to read the short story. I'm gonna do that, but like I finished the main story. I'm very sad. I don't normally cry at books, but I'm very sad. I don't want it to end, but it's ended. Okay, I'm gonna take a second to compose myself. Okay. I've, I've finished the series. Look at all these tabs combined. Like, wow, wow. Let's, I just don't know how to feel. Like, it was amazing. I wanna go through all of it again. Um, just like, wow. I don't know what else to say other than wow like the foreshadowing and like everything strung together like it cabs water man I'm glad I turned this whole video into the whole series yes. my pretty little books anyway um I guess this little video, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I hope if you read the books along with me I, or have already read them, I'm sorry if I pronounced anything wrong. Um, yeah, my heart is ripped out. I'm just, it's done. <sighs> yeah, okay. See you in my next video. Subscribe. I also write books. That's cool. I have a website. Go check them out. Ah.